Hello, my name is Kyle and I am at Rio San Gabriel Park in Norwalk, California. Let's go. So it's pretty nice out today, sunny. We got little league teams practicing over there and a smaller group right here. And as I'm walking through this grass here, I can, I notice that I feel the water kicking up on my shins and I can hear the birds chirping. Joyce is, is a, I think as a human, it's a nice sort of relaxing thing to hear as opposed to the hustle and bustle of traffic. It's a nice little bubble here out in this park. Shielded from the city and just all the noise and distraction. this acreage and the wind is kicking up right now so I'm starting to smell some a little bit of that green foliage that grass Just, just a hint of it, like sort of like a tea, like a sweetened peach tea. One of those teas where it mostly takes, tastes like water, it mostly tastes like water, but you get a hint of a, a little flavor in there. That's sort of what it smells like. I can hear I can hear dogs barking off in the distance, although I can't really see them. Maybe I can walk over and find, and show some, film some. I'm gonna go back over here. And as I'm walking now, I'm, I'm having wandering thoughts just about things I was doing before in the day. I'm trying to focus in and be more mindful. Uh, I think it's something you have to work out, definitely. Um, look, look at this, look what I found. Get this to focus in here. It's a little bit blurry. My camera's not exactly cooperating, but these are berries of some type. Probably poisonous. So that wouldn't be a good thing to taste. But very beautiful in nature nonetheless. There's There's a better look at it. I see we spotted some bird. Sitting right there, just enjoying his or her day. I bet you that bird is being mindful. bet you that bird is being very mindful. 
as I continue I'm noticing this grass is much deader than the immense greenery we came from back there. I wonder why, since I would imagine when it rains, it rain everywhere, not just in one spot. Maybe there's something about the soil that's just more abused. Maybe people walking through it. Perhaps that's what it is. And this pile of dirt, a giant hole in it. Maybe something lives in there. Who wants to find out? It's warming up a, out here in Norwalk, just a little bit. And I'm noticing how nature just takes its, its course. It just, we got some, I guess, ivy growing on the side of the tree. More of it down here. There is a spider web. Let me see. Yeah, it does not really show up on camera too well. But it is there. It's kind of poking out through the tree. A little nook right here. And as I, as I continue to walk through this park, I'm, you know, I am noticing, and this is real, that I'm getting sort of more content, sort of happier that I'm doing this, which I didn't really expect. And I mean that, I'm not just saying that. This feels like I'm doing something, even though I'm not doing anything at all, some might say. I guess something and nothing. I'm sure there's some philosopher or adage that might go along with that theory. Nothing is something. Something like that. Look at this. What do we have here? Got some tree sap growing. It's, uh, it's easier to see than the spider web. Tree is bleeding sap. And continuing on my other thought, I, I, my, my brain just feels less chaotic. And it's just more I guess more em emotionally at peace. And I can hear beetles flying around. I'm not sure if the camera's picking on, up on that audio. I won't know until after I'm done editing, but right here. And I, I've noticed that places in nature have a, a peaceful effect. And I notice that more so in, in beach environments than anything else. Something about the water, being near it is, is um, it's different. Oh, look at this. It's a feather. Maybe there's something flocking together. I guess bird's shed. Maybe I can make a pen out of that later. And we've got more debris. Right here. Although if I keep following this trail, I'm afraid of what I might find. So I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that. Let's move on. I may have hit the jackpot in terms of beauty. 
There's a couple butterflies. See that? There's one there. Let's uh, take a closer look. Look at the way their wings just move, how they flutter around. Just, I wonder if they're communicating with each other. Those two butterflies. There's a bunch here. When I look at these butterflies flying around, it just. It kind of reminds me of my own brain. Just oftentimes wandering, but wandering with purpose, I suppose. Maybe that's an oxymoron. Wandering with purpose. So there we go. A little microcosm of nature. I think what this quest showed me was the value of mindfulness. I think in, in the future, in order to do that, especially in stressful situations, I think it's important to, to stop and, and consciously just understand what's, what's happening around you. Take a deep breath, appreciate the moment, never live in the past. Just experience your sensory information in, in the moment and, and appreciate being here on this planet now because, I mean, as we all know, life is short. So, and I think there is special, something special about being a person on this planet, otherwise known as Earth. There is value in being mindful. It, it brings you peace. It brings you just appreciation for what you're experiencing and so i'm going to try to be more mindful simply by paying attention by noticing things by noticing funny things that there are a ton of funny things out there you just have to pay attention so be in the moment live in the moment and appreciate the journey for example there was a time when i was walking about and i noticed a guy had his head stuck in his car passenger side window for some odd reason. He was fine. You know, he, he got out, but he rolled up the window, got his head stuck, and was struggling a little bit. That right there is an example of comedy or something spectacular you might miss if you don't pay attention. So next time when I'm walking about, or anyone is, don't blink. Because you may miss someone with their head stuck in their window.